Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Oh, sorry. I know you don't lie, though. You were sleeping, little guy, huh? Hi, Squeakaroni. What's wrong, Bubbaloo? All right. Your cage is a mess, Peeper. The boys want to go out for floor time? You have a piece of hay stuck in your bum. All right, let's get you out for floor time. Okay. Bubaloo. Okay, come on, little guys. Come on, it's okay. You're the only one, Bubaloos. Here. It's okay. So I put them on the floor so they can see. <laughs> so that's what I usually do before I clean their cage. Then I, <clears throat> you take out all their stuff and I just open the windows so the room can air out a little bit. So I just open the window so it can air out because everyone likes fresh air. Oh God, why is it not opening? Wait, seriously, why is it not opening? Oh, there you go. So there you go. Then I just take all their, and I give them their new couch that they really like. Literally, they love this couch. I'm gonna have to change their fleece soon. Look at this. It is freaking crazy. Plus, it's always good to, you know, clean up your guinea pigs and give them some g <laughs> Hi, Bubby. Plus, for males, especially for older ones, it's very important to kind of have that running around because you want them to for males especially when they get older they get um anal impaction and that's important because if they don't um get that like cleaned up or taken care of it can cause future like damage so it's extremely important to do that Otherwise, they can get sick, and it's just not a not a good situation. I usually roll this up, and we take it to the dumpster right here, and I clean that up after everything. Look at them. Where are they? <laughs> And that's why it's so important to let them do that because 
you want them to be able to run around and, you know, hang out and get that um, otherwise. Because, I mean, I have a 2 by 4 CNC cage, but it's still, like, a whole room compared is, like, amazing. So that's what I always try to give them. At least, um, probably three times a week I let them do this. Like, run around and play and all that stuff. So... They're very happy cookies. They're like, as you guys see my videos, they're they're doing just fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They did have a couple of health scares. I made videos on that. But aside from like all of that stuff, like they have been very, very healthy. And I'm so lucky because there are people who get guinea pigs <clears throat> who they're sick all the time. And I'm, a, I'm grateful that the people who have six guinea pigs, like, get them help that they need. But also, I'm very lucky that mine are healthy and happy. and Because I got them from the shelter, too. And if I told you the condition they were when I got them from the shelter, I mean, it was, it was horrible. And I didn't make a video when I first, first got them. I was planning to do, like, a video of me getting them and all that kind of stuff but after like seeing the condition they were in I was like if I post this on the internet people are gonna think that I'm abusing my animals and that's not what we want obviously because I wanted my channel to be a, not a per se happy channel but a realistic channel and I think that me being a first-time guinea pig owner I was scared and I kind of regret not posting the stuff that I should have posted because I think it would have been such a like a different experience to post that kind of stuff and I don't know tell me what you guys think when I in the future I've gotten asked this question if I'm gonna keep owning guinea pigs I would definitely love to own them and I think People always ask me, like, why do you like guinea pigs so much? They don't really do anything. I don't know what it's about them that I just love. I think it's, like, the fact that they just calm me down. And there's actually been studies done about how guinea pigs, like, help people with anxiety, help people with who have um, autism, help people who have, like, certain disabilities. Because it's true. I don't, I don't know why they have that effect, but they just do. And it kind of... Oh, no. And it kind of just makes sense to me, if that makes sense. A lot of people don't per se get that but I mean it's not for them to understand it's my life my animals my choices even my fiance is not the biggest fan of them but I mean I love them and they're my my buddies they're my friends and I care for them as such I'm gonna close the windows down a little bit because it's getting a little humid in here. Because I live in the East Coast and for some reason I decided to rain. It's freaking horrible. Um, but yeah, people just always ask me if I see myself. I got the wrong pee pads. If I see myself owning guinea pigs for the rest of my life, and I really, really do. Now, that's not to say I don't want to have, like, a dog of my own one day or, you know, something like that. 
I just, I don't, I love, love, love guinea pigs. Like, it may seem weird to a lot of people, like, that's kind of awkward and weird, but, I mean, I do. I've had friends who are, like, had kind of, like, the same, like, oh, I want to get an animal, and then they do, and then they give them away, and guinea pigs are hard, and it's not what I expected it to be at all. But I'm so grateful that it happened the way it did. And they kind of, in a way, and I don't mean to make this sound like cheesy or anything, but what the heck was that? Are you digging? But I kind of, they kind of saved me. Um, my freshman year at college, And I guess I can make a separate video about why can I not get the right ones? What the heck? Is it this one? Okay. And <laughs> they're popcorning right now. And all I wanted was <laughs> someone, like, I just wanted to be home more than anything. And I made the decision to get guinea pigs. Now, I don't recommend doing that, but I did. And I was, I was just, I really wanted an animal to call my own and for me to take care of because I think I wanted someone for me to care for and for me to love. And I've always been an animal person. So whatever animal I got, I take care of them. And the animals just make me happy. So... I got my guinea pigs and was it like the best decision ever for me to do that no probably not but and I just do this so that the, the pee can um, rinse out but was it the best decision for me to do that no absolutely not um, I don't think I was ready for an animal because I did end up going back to that same school and finishing up but I don't regret owning my animals a lot of people are like do you regret getting them no I absolutely don't regret it because what's the point in that every situation in life teaches you a lesson no matter what and regretting it is just, you live once. So why, you know, just, you did it, right? Like say you, you did something you regretted. It happened, you know? There's nothing you can really do to change it or to, you can apologize, you can, figure out a way to move on from it but whatever you happened happened so regardless of that just have to move forward with it you know and that's a lesson I learned pretty pretty quickly in college because I've had a lot of things that I've said that to me like friends and family that I regret saying doing but life is a funny thing. And you kind of just have to live and learn and kind of, that's the whole point of life, if you really think about it, is to live and learn. I'm getting like really philosophical, but that's kind of the whole point. And another reason why I started YouTube is because I love documenting animals and seeing guinea pigs on people's YouTube channels. And when I see people, like how the videos have helped me, like such as skinny pigs and other um, YouTubers that don't really upload anymore, it really just changed my opinion on, 
on people and on and animals. And that's, I think, why when people say, like, well, guinea pigs are stupid and they don't really do anything, I always tell people, is, I really do feel like they helped me. And if any animal can do that to you and help you through, then screw the people that say that it was a waste or that you shouldn't have done it. Because they don't understand the true, like, how animals help people. And that's just my opinion. We're getting super philosophical here, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's what it is. Right? My speaker picker. You love mommy. You love mommy. Then I kind of, they saved me and I saved them. Because they're my little sunshine. Aren't you, Bubaloo? When I first got them, they were terrified. They didn't even get along with each other, even though they were cage mates. And at the shelter, they got separated. Because really, people at the shelter don't really know what's going on. I mean, I, no, I don't blame them. They're not, you know, not a lot of people are experts at guinea pigs, but... They got separated, and it was like a whole thing to get them to get along. Because when I went there, they kind of were like, oh, yeah, 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 they get along. And when I brought them home, I mean, it was like World War Five with each and every one of them. It was horrible. Really. Hi, boys. And now, like, they walk in between my legs, and it's, I don't know, I don't know if, like, any of this makes sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. And if I could do, like, if advice to anyone about guinea pigs, as I would say is, hi, bub. If you really, truly want to own an animal and you, and you think truly that that animal can somehow save you, somehow make you happier, somehow can change your opinion on whatever it is, do it. Because I promise you that you will regret it if you do not. That's, and I was thinking about that because my sister was like, why'd you get them? They don't do anything. Will I own more guinea pigs? I would love to, truly. But we'll see what happens. Yes, add some hay. Hold on. I don't want to ruin my beautiful appealing cage. The new um, Oxbow hay, I don't know. Like, every time I get a bag, it's, like, different. I don't know how it happens or why, but always so different. And I like to give them a lot of hay because <clears> hay <throat> is the most important thing for guinea pigs. Oh, I need to put them back in the cage. Hello.
back their beds. Yeah, it's your bed. I'm sad that um, Petsmart doesn't sell these anymore because they were actually very convenient. I have another pair of a red and a green one that they get. When they get their toys, I change those so they have time, but they don't really play as much anymore because they're going to be four in December or December or January, something like that. So when this is their cage when it's clean. We have water. We actually have to refill that one a little bit, but um, we have a Brita filter for that. And then for their, what I used to clean it with, but we're gonna put that away. Then we're gonna have to clean the floor because these boys have to go poop everywhere. Then I just usually toss this out because you don't really, that's the stuff they didn't finish. We get a little, it's my little bag corner. And I usually take this and toss it on in there. I guess the stuff they don't finish. There's no point in having it. And look, someone already pooped. Thanks for that. Um, their pellets. Oh! This is the pee pads, which I need a, the one that's in here, what I usually do with it. I guess that I forgot about. I usually just shake it out. And then I wrap it like so. And I usually put it away in this bag. Look at how exciting they get. So. So they get green leaf lettuce, radicchio, and bell pepper. Look at look at him. They get so mad when they don't get their food. Do you hear him? Are you getting upset that you're not getting your dinner? Come on. Come on, boys, dinner time. Let me, maybe we need to flip it like this. There we go. P Piper, I brought you this delicious dinner. Piper. There. Brought him this delicious dinner and he doesn't want to eat it. <laughs> he does that all the time. And then we need to refill their water because I like to make sure that everything was good. That one's still halfway. If it's halfway, I usually don't really bother with it because Piper, don't be mean to him. Don't, let him eat his food. Look at him being rude. But I want that one. Thanks. Oh, so rude and spoiled. So you guys can watch them eat while I oh this is a good camera angle hopefully my video works out look at him he just wants both of them I don't get it I don't get it guys really I just don't guinea pigs are weird animals Oh 
Anyway, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching my YouTube video about my nighttime routine. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add the voice audio yet or not to it. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see y'all soon. Bye!